Hello friends, in the cemetery in Genoa, Italy, there is a statue of a person which bears the following inscription. Francis of Camporoso, born in 1804 and died in 1866, was more blessed in giving than in receiving. With bread and advice and consolation, he was ever prepared to minister to the sufferings and needs of all who came to him. His austere and holy life he crowned with the sacrifice he made of himself at the beginning of the ep epidemic of 1866. The sorrow and gratitude of the people prompted them to immortalize his image in this marble statue. So today I'm going to tell you the extraordinary Franciscan story of the holiness of a Franciscan saint, St. Francis Mary of Camporoso who offered himself as a sacrifice to stop the cholera epidemic in Genoa, Italy in 1866. St. Francis Mary was a pious country boy. He was the fourth of five children born to a farm worker Anselmo and his wife Maria. He attended school for a little while but soon left. At seven years of age he began to work for his family taking care of the cows and vegetable garden. He joined the conventional Franciscans friary in 1822 but soon left because he did not find it challenging he longed for absolute poverty and for deeper meditative prayer he fled from the conventional friary and joined the order of capuchin friars in genoa and received the religious name francis mary he was outstanding in his spirit of charity he would eat only leftovers in order to share his food with the poor especially the poor children in 1831, he was appointed as a quest, uh, literally meaning a beggar. You know, my friends, during those centuries, the mendicant orders would send friars door to door to beg for food. He used to walk through the streets with his quester's sack slung over his shoulder. There was always a small poor boy tagging along. In his questing work, Francis Mary adopted St. Felix of Cantalis, another Franciscan saint, as his heavenly protector. The seaport of Genoa was not very kind to him. People over there thought he was fake and a cheat, so in order to test him, they would throw stones at him. But Francis Mary would pick up the stones thrown at him and kiss them. He was a familiar figure in the dockyards and eventually became well known as a saint. The people who labored there soon discovered that they could ask him for news of their friends and relatives who were far away. Even though he had never met any of these people, his information always proved to be correct. Rich and poor came to him to seek advice. If people whose situation had improved due to his prayers expressed their thanks, he would reply by saying, I did nothing. It was the Madonna who helped you. Brother Francis Mary remained steadfast by praying late into the night. As a man of penance, he always walked on barefoot, slept on wooden planks and ate a few crusts of bread dipping in the water, that too only once a day. His saintliness was one that captured people's hearts. He related to people with natural kindness and a generosity. You know, in August 1866, a cholera epidemic was ravaging Italy's port city of Genoa. By the way, many Goans are working in Genoa. I was once invited by them to celebrate the feast of Goins of Sipes in Francis Xavier when I was studying in Rome. All the measures the city authorities were taking were having no effect whatsoever. Many were dying. In mid-September, in the silence of his monastic cell, Francis Mary prayed to the Lord asking him to put an end to this epidemic. He knelt before the altar of the Immaculate Virgin and through her hands offered himself to God as a victim of expiation. No sooner had he emerged from his cell after prayer, his face and hands grew hot and began to flush with fever. He was already displaying the symptoms of cholera. Only thus would the cholera ravaging the whole city abate. Here was a Capuchin brother who had lived according to the sacred words of his master. The Bible says, greater love has no man than to lay down his life for his friends. On September 17, he died as a victim of cholera. His body, encased in a lead casket, was hastily buried. From that day on, Genoa's number of cholera infections rapidly decreased 
and within a few weeks the epidemic was totally eradicated. In 1911, Brother Francis Mary's remains were exhumed and re-entombed in the Capuchin Church of the Immaculate Conception. He was canonized by Pope John XXIII in 1962. The church remembers him on 19 September every year. My dear friends, I want to end this video with the words of St. Francis Mary of Comparoso. He said, The will of God is always just, always holy, always loving and fatherly towards us. One hour of suffering is of more value than a hundred years of delight. Silence, mortification, prayer, so as to have peace with the Lord, peace with ourselves, peace with the whole world. Thank you my friends for watching this video. See you in the next episode. God bless you.